My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Valian has sent us here to Shriekwind Bastion. His locator spell seems to indicate that the sunlight or daylight ring may be inside. Reek win, Bastion. I hope I got this correct. Who's there? All right, here we go with this again. Stop it! Stop it! trouble between you and Serana. What? What was that? Can't win this. Oh, vigilant Talwin. Understanding is he's a vigilant, it was turned into a vampire. Hmm, and his lackey destroyed. Let's see, what do we have here? Finish the deed, and your payment will be waiting at the temple. Do not fail us. Tea. Who would that be? Interesting. Yeah, he was prepared with his silver. And let's see what Talwin was carrying. Hmm, blood potions. Let's read his journal. I thought I died in the service to Stendar, the god of mercy, charity, and well-earned luck. And most importantly, the God of Justice. There can be no greater honor than for a vigilant to die in service of a higher calling. But I do not feel joy or a sense of accomplishment. I have been robbed of my place in the afterlife. Any good deeds I performed while in life taste like ashes in my mouth. Perhaps Stendar denied me his luck or protection because I was not worthy enough as one of his vigilants. Perhaps I thought myself invincible and in my vanity deserved ruin. Regardless of my plight, I will continue to serve Stendar in my undead torment. I have become a vampire. It pains me to put the words to paper, but it is true. 
I did not die or stay dead as I should have. Instead, I've been afflicted with a hunger for blood that is contrary to all doctrine and teachings of the Vigilant of Stendar. I am sorely tempted to behave as an animal and wallow in the death and blood of innocence, but I have retained my purpose. I dispense the justice of Stendar upon the evil and the unjust. I only feed upon those who bring suffering upon others. I prolong my life so that I can redeem myself and fulfill a higher purpose, even if my former brothers would kill me in an, ins in an instant. Fortunately, in life I was privy to several of the locations of vigilant gold and religious artifact caches. It pains me to betray those who were once my brothers, but I have now put these those considerable riches to a much more important purpose. I faithfully serve Stendar as I and the countless assassins I have hired hunt down the same abominations that are responsible for my torment. I am a vampire. Hopefully, my unnatural life will end someday, soon, but not until I manage to cleanse Skyrim of as many monstrosities as myself as I can. When I do one day fall, I have assured that the wealth of the Vigil of Stendar will continue to hire assassins to kill as many vampires as they can until the accounts run dry. Come to me, Stendar, for without you I might be deaf to the man's warm murmurings of thy people and forgetting their need for comfort and wisdom, I might indulge myself in vain scribblings. All right, well, he's destroyed. encountered Talwin several times and we were never able to defeat him until now. Alright, let's see what we have here. Good work, Bandit. Alright, let's see what's inside here. Alright, Serana is back. And hopefully... You're going to be able to behave yourself. Again, I must urge patience on your behalf. We will get to your father when we are ready. Oh. Now what? What was that? Did anyone see anything? What was he thinking? Ooh, never oh, saw it was this. <laughs> it was the uh, reanimate. His time was up. There could be traps in here. Kill him. He talks to me like that again. Kill him while he's sleeping. What poison is meat? See how he likes. 
I think this is the north side. It's been cleared. Yes. sign of a daylight ring or sunlight ring. Retire someday. Give him self an island. Ah, oh, chest. Nothing of value. A coffin. Hm, only filled with charcoal. I thought we were getting close. There's another one. Hm, gold. All right, we're gonna go up the staircase. Really, Serana? You're going to keep your distance from the bandit? <laughs> I tell you, vampires. going to have to go to an another location. What was he thinking? Fool never saw me pull that ace out of my boot. Hmm, what is this? This must be Falkreath below. It's going to be a distance and a trip. But we need to get to Hamar's shame. Told him to just hand over the drip. Bandit, you're going to have to go on foot. Wait, what's here? Bandits. All right, let's leave them for now and continue on our mission. Mm, 
good work, Serana. Good day. Oh, I see people down there. Yes, and they're not friendly. is left. All right, I think we're done here. Let me drink up. What's going on? Is that the help you were looking for? here. There's some sort of house or something up ahead. And wolves. Are they truly running off? Oh, no, look. Is this alchemist friendly? Oh, it's just a treasure hunter. I... Unfortunately, I'm still thirsty. So we have all sorts of alchemical ingredients. Coming to this area was a brilliant decision. The local flora seemed to have many useful properties that I've been able to utilize into new potions. Outside, the, the rich soil has allowed the cuttings I've collected to grow into fine and bountiful plants. This afternoon, I think I will journey out for more mushrooms as my current supply is beginning to dwindle. On a personal note, I have moved my alchemy works outside the shack. I find the midday air is a boon to my health as well as inspirational to my work. I'll take the fire salts. Take this glow dust. Fire and frost salts. Let me get my health 
back to full. I think we're going to need our horses. I think I remember this dog from Fall Creek. Don't you talk? Didn't you need help with something? My master oh, and I had a does bit talk. of a falling out. We got into an argument and it got rather heated. He's kicking me out until I find someone who can settle our disagreement. That's where you come in. So, you're a lost little puppy. You're very funny. <laughs> My master's clavicus vile, Daedric Prince of Wishes. As you can imagine, he's quite the important person. All right. I'm looking for a sunlight ring, but if we find him, then so be it. Thank you. Now, since he banished me, Vile's been rather weak. He can't manifest very far from one of his shrines. I know there's a cult that worships him at Hamar's shame. We should be able to talk to him there. If this works out, I'll make sure you're rewarded. And just don't trust any offer he makes you, okay? Whatever. All right, Serana. Let's go. No bandit. I'm sure he's thoroughly lost by now. Uh oh. See, yes, there is a chest up here. Wait. Assassin Royal Vampire Armor. And look what we have here. A Vampire Sunlight Ring. <laughs> Thalion did it. His locator spell worked. Now, we can dictate my terms as to how we're going to proceed with Harkon. But while we're here, let's go ahead and Look into this clavicus vile issue. Oh, look. Really?
Serana is still sulking. feel like I am in competition with you, Serana. Nothing here. Hmm, a dead Imperial. All right, wait a minute. Ah, uh, now, uh, can only have one animate at a time. Reanimate. This bandit is much tougher. What was there? All right, we have company coming. Don't. <laughs> what? Ritual gauntlets of Boethia? Interesting. All right, let's continue.
find anything here of importance. Let's go. Was a woman as fair as an evening of springtime in Old Strauss Mackay? Think he even looks like the bandit. to college dancing. Use your smarties. Serana. Oh, can he be reanimated if you tried? Keep moving. Oh, what is this? Is this fighting I'm hearing? Expecting vampires, so we'll go with blazing bolts.
Who has conjured this? All right, Serana. Enough. Isn't this the dog that we... Yes, this is Barbas. Serana, what is wrong with you? Just let it, like no, let it go, let it go. She's hopeless. Serana. I'm not gonna die like this. He's ignoring you. You need to stop. Sorry, Barbus. Can I talk to you? Why did Vile kick you out? Well, I guess you could say I got on his nights. I can I see why. The voice of reason, and he finds that uh, irksome. He couldn't just kill me, you see. We're technically part of each other, but he was able to banish me from his domain. Of course, because of our separation, Vile is now much weaker. I guess he figured it was a small price to pay for not having to listen to me anymore. I'll stay for you. Serana. Your powers cannot affect the dog. He's part of a dating prince. You, you are just... Can I talk to... Vile? Lord Vile, are you there? By all means, let's hear it. It's the least I could do since you already helped me grant one final wish for my last worshippers. They were suffering so from vampirism and begged me for a cure. Then you came and ended their misery. I couldn't have planned it better myself. So, what's your heart's desire? What kind of deal can we try? <laughs> the power to crush all before me. Really? Power? Haven't you already killed enough of your foes, using the more mundane means at your disposal? Swords, magic, etc. Hell, I'm inspired. As much as I hate to say it, you're almost as powerful as I am right now. But that's just because half of my power resides in that muck barbers. Hey, come to think of it, I know of a win-win situation for both of us. Do tell. What is your offer? There's an axe. An incredibly powerful axe. An axe powerful enough for me to have quite a bit of fun indeed. If you bring it to me, I'll grant you my boon. No strings attached, no messy surprises. At least not for you. As I recall, it's resting in Brian Rock Burrow. Barbers can lead you right to it. Little Mutt might even earn his place back at my side. Hmm. All right, very well. I'm not sure how it's going to work out, though, with... Serana and Barba set each other's throats like this. All right, I'm leaving. Wait. No, I thought this was Serana. <laughs> that would be unfortunate.
chest. I have not noticed it here. It's time to try this sunlight ring. Is it working? I can't tell. Looks like there's another shrine or something up ahead. All right, Saran, at least we got you away from fighting that dog. Now, who's this? say. enough. Orphan Rock. Oh, I thought it was one of those shrines. All right, let's see where our next destination is. <laughs> no, it's not Castle Bogahar. Not yet. We're getting close, though. All right, it's Rhyme Rock Burrow. Let's go. Shame if I've lost the bandit now. All right, let's go. Some frost salts for my collection. And here we are, the Rufal Axe. All 
All right, Serana, let's go. Look who's here. Bandit? Hmm? Yes, you found Let us. Let me know if you need anything. All right, come on. Now wait. Okay, there's Serana. All right, let's go inside. All right, everyone's here, except for Sara- oh, there she is. All right, finally, we're all together again. All right, Clavicus. Ah, you've got the axe. And my dog. Splendid. We're back. Now fulfill your end of the bargain. Excellent work. A hero and his faithful companion retrieving the ancient artifact for the prince. It's almost storybook. Ah, oh, but it almost seems a shame to give a weapon like that away, doesn't it? I suppose I could be persuaded to let you keep it. Very well. But only if you use the axe to kill Barbus. Simple as that. Barbus. You may make that sound like that's a difficult task. It's just a dog, and I am a vampire. All right. Is it called Rufal? Yes. Farewell, you annoying mutt. <laughs> Vile. He's dead. Are we done here? Absolutely. Now I can reabsorb his body and return to full power. All without having to listen to his whining. <laughs> oh, sure. He'll be back in a century or two. But think of the fun I can have till then. Enjoy that axe. And don't worry about poor old Barbus. After all, he really should have picked a better friend. Indeed. All right. Looks like we're done here. Serana, you can stop pouting now. It's time for us to head to Castle Volcahar. All right, come on, you two. Let's go.